Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to react to a creepy TikTok compilation video. Make sure you have those lights turned on because this one's going to be a scary one. Let's watch. In 2014, my girlfriend and I checked into a hotel in Subic, Philippines. The hotel looked great and the ambiance was nice. But while we were walking in the hallway, we noticed that it was too quiet. Like we were the only guests on that floor. When we arrived in our room, it felt really heavy. But I didn't told her. After we ate our dinner, she placed the tray and dishes outside our room. Then she said, Babe, there's an old woman standing at the end of the hallway looking at me. I said, Just ignore her. Maybe she's lost. Later that night while we were sleeping, we screamed because we had the same nightmare about the old woman. She's really angry because we checked into that room. We were really scared, so we decided to leave. But when opened the door, the same old woman was standing outside. We were shaking, but we pushed ourselves to run and check out immediately. So in the Philippines, there's a lot of paranormal stuff that happens over there. So I wonder if this was one of those folklore things, or if it was just a ghost, pretty much. Hello? The goat you've just seen is behaving strangely. Bro, that is not a normal goat. What is that? What the heck? You see those eyes? Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh man, that is scary. Strangely, but not because it's crazy or hungry. Rather, it's doing so because it's not a goat, but a skinwalker. A dangerous and creepy creature from Native American culture who was a cursed sorcerer in the past. What they want is you and your skin, and they'll even go so far as to transform themselves into animals or other humans to lure you in. I'll leave you to it. Here's one following a car. And here's another trying to follow a child in the form of a dog. I'll leave you to it. No! 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 That dog was not happy. Someone needs to hand him some calming chews. Get his butt to chill. Maggie? Maggie? Oh my god. Maggie? Who is the fuck? Oh my god. Did he just move? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Is he out there? Do you see anything? No, I don't see anything. It looked like it turned and walked away. The only place it could have gone is through this. Oh my God. That looked like a real home invasion caught on film. I hope they're okay. Oh you see it? You see it? It had arms. No, those are arms. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's a real person. No, those are arms now. No, those are arms. No, those are arms. Guys, I can't get out of here. I'm gonna stay in the wrong spot. No, no. I don't care. Those are arms. That was probably one of the backup extras from the nun. Do you like humans? Not particularly. From now on, we can no longer hide our thoughts. And here's why. Just so you understand, every time we look at something, it triggers a certain pattern of impulses in our head. So scientists did an experiment. To a person they showed some picture, and artificial intelligence only impulses in the brain of this person while he looks at it. Now pay attention. This is what the human saw. And this is what the artificial intelligence calculated based on the impulses in his head. But that's not the creepy part. They went further and connected the artificial intelligence to a Wi-Fi router, like the one you have at home. Now every Wi-Fi router emits radio waves. 
the artificial intelligence took those radio waves and built a full 3D map of the room, determining how many people were in it. Here's what the camera captured, and here's what the artificial intelligence built as a result of its calculations. So just so you understand, now in order to find out what you're eating, who you're talking to, what you're watching, you just need to know your Wi-Fi password. If you too want to keep control of yourself and your thoughts, subscribe. No, we said, man. If AI falls into the wrong hands, it's over. We are heading to doomsday soon, my friends. The rain Warren from the Conjuring movies blessed this door because something evil was hiding behind it. This is the Farnsworth House Inn in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, known as one of the most haunted houses in America. A number of people died inside of this house, and it's rumored that bodies were stored down here in the cellar beneath the home. In the upstairs of the building was a sharpshooter's nest, where many soldiers from the Civil War died while firing their weapons at their enemies. People have been attacked by things down here, and spirits have even left muddy handprints on people's legs. We spent the night filming for the YouTube video that I'm releasing today, but I'm curious to find out, would you spend the night down here alone? No, sir, I would not. I'm pretty sure you heard this before. You hear someone call your name, yet you're all alone. But what if you manage to record that event? Well, that's exactly what happened in this video to Christine Wright. She was filming a video at a creepy old cemetery located in Portland, England. Built back in 1475, many of the tombs have creepy skull symbols that will creep out any visitors. Alone in this cemetery, Christine begins talking to the camera and suddenly, this happens. Um, completely out of the way, so nobody... <gasps> oh, hello. Oh. Oh. Wow. Christine is startled by the voice of a woman coming from behind her, saying hello. Oh, nobody... <gasps> oh, hello. Oh. She thought she had been hearing oh. things that were not there, like the rest of us, until she reviewed the... Yeah, it's nuts. That reminds me of the other videos where this guy wakes up in the middle of the night and he's hearing his girlfriend calling him from the hallway. But his girlfriend is like right next to him in bed. That is crazy. This photo was taken way back 2017. When me and my friend took a different bus on our way home, she took this photo and sent it to me. At first, the picture seems to be a normal picture, but the second picture really creeps me out. As you can see, there was a creepy black woman standing inside the bus. I'm really scared because maybe it's a premonition that something bad will happen. This next picture is a faculty picture from a yearbook. If you look closely, you can clearly see that there is a little girl behind them. The teachers who are in this photo are all confused on how did that little girl got into their picture. No one knew that child, so maybe it was a ghost. And the clip you're about to see is claimed to be unedited and real. In the video, it looks like it was just a regular video of two guys in a party teasing each other. But if you look closely, you can see that the guy at the back wearing a black shirt was headless. Some says that this is a premonition that his death is near. I wonder how many photos and videos have captured ghosts and paranormal stuff out there. Okay, so me and Paxton decided <laughs> to calm our nerves a little bit and we'd play a little game. So we've been doing this and we also want to do like the AI filter while we're playing it. I don't know what, she, what kind of game she's talking about, but what is it? Um, the game, I don't know what it's called, but you have to guess the same word. You know what I mean? Okay. So I'm going to let's see if there's any anything else before we leave. Okay, we'll guess the same word so you go ahead and start it. Maybe we'll do it in a separate video. Okay. Well, are you ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Freaking faint. What AI filter is this? I wanna know. Look, there's somebody right there. Alright, let's try. What the fuck? What is that? Did you hear that? I don't know. I 
altar. I know I heard what I heard. That sounded just like what me and Yasmin heard. She went to go grab the phone. Just in case it's completely locked down in here. So there would be absolutely no... Okay, so we're at the front of the store now. She went and got her phone just in case. I think her mom is on her way to come get her. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Yeah, see, that was the same thing that me and Yasmin heard back there, but I didn't think. It sounded like a little girl. I went back in that corner too, and there was nothing there. All right, guys, um, we're done for the night, yeah. for real. Bye. See ya. Bye. And that is exactly why I don't shop at Old Navy anymore. Well guys, that's the end of the video. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.